Hello, good evening everybody. Rebel here. I am doing a small mukbang tonight. I have pork sausage, sweet peppers, roasted tomatoes, and gluten-free pasta with gluten-free sauce. Little glimpse. I am doing this video right now. I'm not trying to be dramatic, but I'm pretty disgusted right now, and I'm going to get down to why. Um, I posted that video a little over a week ago, the Thursday before Thanksgiving, when I explained how I had lost a relative. Um, What is disgusting me, honestly? Sorry. Like, don't mind me, guys. I'm... The few... I've had quite a few people reach out to me since that happened. And them, I am beyond grateful for because, like, my very good friend who was singing in the room who went out of the way and because... I had to deal with the phone call of that person. They went out of their way, and it wasn't because I wasn't in the mood, but I'm having to deal with the phone call. I'm cleaning around the house, etc. They went out of their way and cooked the food, so normally I help out a lot making dinner, but I just looked at them like, do you mind helping out? And it wasn't an issue, so... They're right by me, but they're stuffing their face, which I'm not complaining about. <laughs> and I'm just getting a smirk. <laughs> yeah, and I just got... <laughs> but yeah, what makes me discuss it right now? Honestly. And... I really don't appreciate when, even if you just find out about it, friends, family, etc., you're supposed to support each other. This person was supposed to be a friend. I go out of my way for a lot of people, and I believe in God. I'm not religious or anything. I'm not anything. But I believe in the power of prayer, and I do believe in God. I'm not going to say to myself I'm religious or anything. But I believe in God. Again, I believe in the power of prayer. If someone needs to call me about something, they need to vent, or just need someone to talk to, I have no problem with that. For them, I'm disgusted with, I'm sorry I have tension in doing that, but I eat slow. The little fact that they reached out to me, asking, could they talk and catch up? I thought, yeah, why not? Okay. Well, they had asked me how I had been. I explained how I was, because, again, you guys saw me in that video, not Thanksgiving Thursday, but the Thursday before when the situation happened. I was obviously a mess, and it's taken me quite a bit of time to grieve Cope, I'm slowly getting better. I'm keeping myself busy. I'm doing everything I can to do what I need to do to help myself, even if it's praying, doing a little bit of cleaning, getting little things done, etc. And I'm not complaining about that. But I feel right now this person was disgusting 
because as they're asking me how I'm doing, they're telling me everything about themselves and I explained to them about what had happened. I understand, again, if someone needs to vent, you need to vent. I'm not judging that. But don't mind me, when it comes to people who you just want a listening ear, that's fine. I will sit here talking to you on the phone, no matter how long it takes, or if I have to stop, I will get back to you. I've done this for many people. Other times, like, depending on what the conversation is, it's not that I get bored with it or anything. If it's a lot to take in, I will balance myself and I will definitely get back to you. This person, I am beyond disgusted because they made the situation about my relative about themselves. That I find goddamn disgusting. And sorry, I'm not trying to curse your name out in vain. But that's literally how I feel. And the reason with that. Don't sit there, turn around, and try to tell me that I'm dealing with more issues than you are. And this is how they act on the phone. Bitching about their household situation. Kids don't want to listen. Family don't want to listen. Don't mind me. You can reach out. That's fine. But this is a person who literally does not want to fix their problems. They want someone else to do it. It takes someone else's actions to fix their own problems. You need to do it yourself. They don't want to do it. They want someone else to come in, give them the band-aid. Oh, it's temporary fix. Sorry. No. Not everybody's going to hand you that emotional band-aid or that physical band-aid. I went through this that Thursday night. I was upset. You guys saw I... Broke down crying, freaking out on the camera, but I was being honest. I hardly ever break down like that. But at the same time, with them calling, like, oh, let me catch up with you, and they asked me, literally, how are you? Huh. They literally asked me how was I, and as soon as I explained, because they had no idea, and I'm not judging that. I'm really not asking me how I was. I told them about what happened. They made the situation about my relative about themselves as if they're going through all this hell, and I know their backup story. I'm not trying to put them on blast. But sorry, you can't sit there and expect to act like, best way to say it, this victim who you walked into this particular life being miserable and expecting, oh, let me help you, let me help you. It don't work like that. The person, don't mind me, I, like I said, it's taking me some time to cope, but I'm still getting up and I'm still getting the little bit done I need to. Whether it's my chores, other responsibilities, crafting, cleaning, I'm still getting up and doing stuff. They're making every excuse in the book as in, no, sorry, everything's about me. Um... No, sorry. The world don't revolve around you. I'm not accepting that. I literally, for me, going through that death, and again, I'm not trying to sound like the world's biggest bitch. Whatever. Etc. I felt hurt by that because you don't call me acting like you want to be there as a support emotionally or anything. When you're going to make the situation of my relative passing about yourself. One, not only did they not know the relative because even though I had grown up with them, 
no matter, even if I ask them to go to a picnic or something, because literally this person, a lot of times growing up in my family, it was a lot of picnics, anything family fun with the kids. They would always decline to go. I can understand if you were dealing with a few little things, but how is it when families are inviting you to so many different things, you can't attend one? That's pretty goddamn sad. And again, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to curse you out, Lord. Again, I believe in him, so. Sweet pepper. But it really disgusts me. And then, that they want to turn my family tragedy into their own victimists, as in, it turns into about me, and it's not about them. Everybody has to cope and grieve in their own way, and they're acting like the situation's about them. No, sorry. If someone loses a relative, someone loses a friend close to them, it doesn't make the other person have the right, oh, sorry, no. This is about me. How? No. I'm literally just so disgusted by that because that's the main time in my life is I'm not crying. It's just one of those things where you feel like you have an itch or you feel like you have something in your eye, but I've never had someone treat me like that. And I won't tolerate that. You can't turn around making someone else's tragedy your victimist issue. I'm one of those people where if no matter what I'm going through, even if I need to talk to somebody about it just to get some support, I will still turn it into something where I get back into motivation, clean, do my chores, do my crafting, still do what I need to do, but I'm not going to sit there turning around making as if, or as if, my apologies, just because it's just... I'm just so disgusted. Sorry, I, I know I keep repeating myself, but I'm being honest. I've just never had someone make try to make it everything about them. And don't mind me, you can't make every situation about your own personal self. Again, I have no problem letting someone call me, vent to me, I'm dealing with this, can I just talk to you, or etc. I have no problem. But when I you ask me... Excuse me. Probably a small burp. I burp. But. I look at it. Don't turn around and make my personal tragedy into an issue about you acting like you're going through more. Because don't mind me. In the end. If someone's got to deal with a loss. That takes a lot. And I understand people have gone through it because... I've had people tell me that they're dealing with that. Even if they allow me to vent, I appreciate it. If not, I get it because I know that they're really hurting. I pray. I keep praying for them. This person did the exact opposite and they're still acting like, oh, you're my friend, etc. No, sorry. I'm going to be shutting the door on that friendship. And for me, shutting that door is... Once I shut it on you, you don't come back in, and I'm not sounding like a bitch saying this, but you can't expect someone to be your friend, be there for you, if you're not going to do those same loyal actions. If you're not going to do those loyal actions, you're not really a friend, and that's how they just acted towards me, and again, they're not being a real friend. You can't make my personal tragedy your victimous issue. So. Yeah, well, that's all I gotta say for now.
Uh, taking a sip of my soda. Uh, have a very good night for now, you guys. I will keep you guys posted. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Thank you.